What's up guys, Louis here. Do you ever find something so simple that has been there the whole time and you've just missed it and you feel like an idiot? Well, that's what happened to me uh, a couple of weeks ago, which is what we're gonna show you today. The Google Suite baffles me of how much stuff is actually in there, but it's all super streamlined. Up until about six months ago, I was actually using Apple Mail uh, for all my uh, email stuff, not knowing that the actual web-based Gmail app is so powerful, I had no idea. So I stumbled upon this the other day and I can't believe I didn't know it was there. It's so frustrating to me because it could have saved me so much time. So we're gonna jump into the computer in just a second here and show you how to make templates inside of Gmail. Oh my gosh, I wish I had known how to do this. Before we jump in, if you do love this, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. It would mean the world to me. I drop videos all the time on systems, processes, and time management for realtors. So let's dive in. Okay, so look at this little sneaky thing here. I've got a new message open inside the Gmail and I click on these three buttons right here, more options, and look at this, templates. I didn't know, who knew? So how can we use this as realtors? What is this actually gonna be good for? For me, it's stuff that I send out to a team or people who are joining my, my group or whatever. But, you know, inside the production, you know, every Tuesday I send sellers the updates of what's going on with their listings, especially in a changing market that's happening right now. You know, things are sitting a little bit longer. You want to make sure that you're updating them on a regular basis. So I'm going to paste a kind of example um, email that I would send every Tuesday, that I do send every Tuesday to my sellers. So let's paste that in and have a look at what's going on. Now notice all my spelling mistakes here. It's awfully worthy. I'm just going to go ahead and fix all these real quick. Okay, that'll do for now. So you can see that every Tuesday, we say, hey, Mr. or Mrs. Seller, whoever it is. So let's just add a little bit, hey, name. I just put that as a place marker. Okay, so hey, name. I hope you're having a great week. Below is a quick update on the showing feedback and my recommended course of action. Um, so, you know, uh, you can chop and change a little bit, but at least this gives you the structure of what you're going to be sending every week rather than having it be like, ugh, typing it all up, typing it all up. Sometimes I have like actual stats there from the MLS or a little graph that I'll put in, whatever you want to do. This could also be like a newsletter or whatever you want to do. Anyway, whatever kind of email you send constantly, you're just going to make this a template. So here's how you do it. When you've got your kind of template dialed in, you can come down here to these uh, three magic dots again. We'll go to templates and then come down, save draft as template, save as new template, and then we'll say uh, weekly seller check in. And I'm gonna save right there. And boom, it's done. So now, um, you know, if we delete this and open this as a new email again, I would just come down here, three dots, templates, weekly seller check-in, I click that, oh, it fills in. Now, the only thing that annoys me is that it does my signature twice. So, I'm not sure why it does that. I'm gonna try and figure that out. It might do the same for you, um, but that's how it works. So, it's really, really cool. I can't believe I didn't know how to do this. This is so annoying. But now, I'm actually building out a ton of templates um, because, you know, for us, I do a lot of follow-up from calls I have with agents and stuff like that. And a lot of it is kind of a template, like a long, like click here, check out this, here's what we offer and stuff like that. So with that stuff, it's really, really cool. This could also be like, you know, your resume for listings. You know, if you've talked to like a, a seller, uh, you know, just like, hey, great meeting you. Excellent, you know, here's my resume, check out what I've done, blah, blah, blah. You know, you could have all that built out, ready to roll. So after you get off the phone, you can send it immediately and there's no delay or lack in, you know, sending follow-ups to prospective clients or whatever that looks like. So I would build out everything. And really the way to look at this is, you know, look back in your sent emails. Do you send the same kinds of emails all the time? Then make those templates and then go from, uh, go from there. So there you go, guys, quick and dirty. I can't believe I didn't know about this. Hopefully you did know about this and you're like, I knew about this, dude, what you talked about. But if you didn't, I'm glad that this helps, hopefully. So there you go. If you haven't done so before, 
check out the channel, subscribe, support, that would be awesome. If you haven't got our free financial tracker yet, your PL and all that, I'll put in the link below. You can download that for free. It's helped a lot of people so far. We've got a ton of great feedback about it, which is awesome. We are here to help, guys. I love putting out this kind of content because it helps me first and then hopefully all of you other realtors out there with your systems, processes, and time management. So check it out. We'll see you on the next one.